Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope very well. As you can see, it's a very rainy, not a very nice day. So, ugh. Um, yeah, it's a good day to sit home and watch YouTube all day, which is what I was doing all morning. Thought I would go over my EDC work bag real quick and uh, what I carry in it and why I switched my regular bag, which I did that video actually over at that park, uh, that section of the park three, four years ago. So, I'll go show you the other bag right now. I have some crooked technical difficulties. All right, so here's the old work bag. It's a Wenger backpack. And um, I will probably uh, switch the other camera so you can get uh, better lighting or better close-up. I'll show you why I replaced it. Um, I feel like lighting is gonna be a major issue today, but. I mean, currently it's noon and it's already just dark. But uh, see this here? That's just ripped out. The whole thing just tore. And I got several holes. Well, so this is like a little little uh, pocket here that I dropped some pills into, like prescription medication. And yeah, this side here, it wore a hole through the bottom of the pack. The whole, it, it, it basically wore a hole through. If you can see my finger popping up. And all I did was drop a pill bottle in there and it did that. So, because of the tear right here, I felt like uh, it'd seen better days and I was to go ahead and just replace it. I mean, it's not a terrible bag, it's just get my old EDC stuff that, you know, odds and ends I don't really care anymore, so. And it's got your standard pockets, you know, little zipper pouch inside. Um, you know, pen holder, whatnot. Got a, uh, oh, can't show you that. It worked. Little spot here on top. It wasn't a bad bag, but it was also $90. So, like, brand new is 90 bucks. So I could have just, they have a limited lifetime warranty. I don't know what, where the limited kicks in. Nor did I want to, I figured I could have contacted them and said, hey, your bag ripped out. But then I figured if they'd sent me another bag, it would just ripped out too. So, you know, why waste my money? Okay, which brings us to the new backpack. I got this on Amazon. It was like $41 and some change. I believe it's a three-day assault pack. I'll put all the description in the, in the uh, below so you can see. And it's got the, uh, I've got a big body compartment here with Molly on each side. So no, uh, no drink holder, but you, or no uh, canteen holder or anything. But you could have, uh, you could molly something on the side or whatever pouch you want. The uh, main compartment here, and this does open up fully too. So I'll do the sides. I just, I have the side uh, straps connected just so they'd stay out of the way. This is one of those bags you can just fully, fully open it up like this. And uh, it's got a mesh, deep mesh pocket, which I usually put a plastic bag in here to carry my lunch. And then I also carry an igloo, which uh, I need to replace this because the zippers. Um, but I've had this thing a long, long time. So I've gotten my $10 worth out of it. But yeah, this is, uh, typically I have enough room in here. If this was closed, I was going to say, if this was, uh, if, if this was shut, I could put like my lunch on top of here, like I'll bring leftovers from home, spaghetti, whatever. And uh, yeah. And then it's uh, got a little zip pocket right here for just small items. Currently mine is empty. So I wanted to say about the Eagle, the reason I carry this is because I always carry beverages like this sparkling ice with caffeine. I just put a couple of ice packs in here from home. And, um, because I've, I've been at some sites where, um, some job sites where I've had beverages stolen from me. 
so that's why I don't carry. Also, when I was at another site, when I first started doing this, you know, because I could do every job at the site, I, I kept getting called away to different buildings, but I left, would leave my lunch in the, you know, in one building, but I'd be two buildings away, so when I finally get my lunch break, I'd have to walk across two buildings to get to my lunch, and I'd have to walk all the way back, it only leaves me much less time to, uh, eat and enjoy my lunch, so. So, let's go over the other pockets. Okay, so let's go with the, uh, the top pocket here. I don't really keep a ton in here. Like I mentioned spaghetti, so I have, uh, Parmesan cheese. I always carry, uh, some black pepper. I have a comb, just in case, you know, your... I wear a hat at work, so your hair gets all messed up. And while I've never used them, I actually have a couple of, uh, hand warmers. That it, and the winter's kind of rolling down, I think, and hope, but... Then I have some, uh, Gold Bond hand cream. Your, your hands get dried out from the cold, so it's just kind of sucks. So that's it for that that pocket, actually. I only keep a few things in here because I can always add. I have room to add more, but you know what's the point? So we'll go down to the bottom pocket here. Here I, I keep some uh, some tums. A little broken up because you know they get bounced around. I guess I've been dealing with arthritis, so I got some ibuprofen. Uh, got some gorilla tape. I keep a tooth tra travel toothbrush and uh, half a tube of toothpaste. Something you get, you know, something stuck in your teeth. So you just go and brush your teeth, and it's like much better. Or if you end up working double shift, you know, sometimes you want your uh, your breath to be good. Uh, notepad, just in case. Then I got several pens in here. I got a So two pens and a sharpie. These are just kind of, you know, I got to use a pen for work. So I just I bring extras, so I don't have to uh, worry about it. If I case I forget one, sometimes it's gonna happen. It's like I reach down. Oh man. All right. So this is not a hidden woodsman bag. I just put it on there because you know I love hidden woodsman products. And then uh, just the American flag off of another another pouch I had. Another thing. You might notice it zips super easy. Really nice easy. I don't have to sit there and fight with the zippers to get them open. Uh, this is a um, this is a phone holder. I just zoomed in and show you. Actually, I was I was working with a guy and he was watching the uh, basketball game. So I said, "Well, why don't you set your phone up on this?" So I just got that on Amazon a long time ago because I would watch uh, stuff on my phone at work using the Wi-Fi. So I just found that using a phone stand is pretty handy. So uh, I got some Carmex just in case you get, you know, your lips guard get all dried out. It can happen to anybody. Another pen. Uh, an extra little light. This is, uh, I actually did a review on this. Uh, nail clippers, in case you get like a hangnail. The hangnail can just irritate the crap out of you, so. Keep a big lighter in here, just in case, because I, I know people smoke at work. Get a little waterproof pill bottle for my medications, and then I get a, well, I get a Zeus key for work, but that's a work thing. So, and that's overall, it. it's a pretty nice backpack. Convenient carry handle on the top. Molly and the uh, Molly with Velcro on the top, Molly down here, Molly on each side, plus the strap so you could either attach something or just keep it all together. It used to have a belt, a waistband, but I got rid of it because I wasn't going to carry it as a backpack. Other than I just sling it on my shoulder, I should say. Um, oh yeah, it's got uh, straps in the bottom as well. In fact, I think one slipped out. I'll have to fix that. So straps on the bottom. So if you're using it for an overnight pack, you could attach this uh, sleeping shelter. 
uh, D-rings on the straps for just whatever. Plus it comes with a sternum strap. Like I said, molly on each side. Yeah, not a bad bag for 42 bucks. I've been pretty happy with it. The only thing, my only my minor complaint is that when it sits, it tends to tilt forward. As you can see, it tilts forward, but I usually just turn it against the wall and lean it up and problem solved. Oh yeah, and it's also got, not that I've ever been to use it, but it's got a, got a water what, a compartment back here. I suppose you could put back here whatever you wanted, plus uh, you know, a water bladder if you're going to use a Fikin, and then just run your uh, hose through your strap up here, and you're good to go. But that is my All right, well, that's the bag, and uh, you might notice there's no cutting tools of any kind in here, because, uh, you know, the job site gets a little pissy about uh, weapons. So, you know, what are you going to do? But, you know, I just bring my lunch, my medications, hand cream, things I need. You know, I might, usually I keep uh, several hats and gloves on the passenger seat of my car so I can grab them as I need them. I also keep a rain uh, jacket, my new work jacket, which I'm actually doing a video on here, probably after this one. And then, um, yeah, so, yeah, been pretty happy. Good stuff. I like the bag too. So what do you guys care? What do you carry in your work backpack if you even bring one? All right. Well, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. If you have any questions, uh, comment below, and I'll put the link for the bag in the description. You go check it out. I'll try to I'll try to post all the measurements and stuff for that too. I had them all written down in the note, but I can't find the note now. I don't know what I do with it. I checked on my pockets. I was like, what did I do with that note? Thanks for watching.